What's up, guys? This is uh, Duckfin Gaming. Yeah, that was a little bit different, right? <laughs> but um, we have done the story mode. We have done all of it. Well, I didn't record every single one, but I've done ones that really stand out to me. And um, now I'm just going to show you challenge mode a little bit. I'm going to do all of these challenges, which are two, four, seven challenges. And I've done them already, and they're really short, so let's start. This is the fire challenge. This will probably be the last video I post from From Dust. A lot of you guys may be sad about that. If you are, ask me something to do in this game, and I'll do it. I'm not really sure what you can do. So I can only pick up water, and it says protect the village from the fire. All right, so let's pick up some water here. And let's put it at the top here. And let's see if that protects any. I got that. I'm gonna put the rest of this out. And I think besides that little bit, oh no, quit spreading. All right. I don't think I'm gonna beat my my high time on this one. <laughs> All right, there you go. Done. I guess there's some more veg vegetation over here. I have to get. This is done. There is no fire. No fire. Uh, the, that one comes out of nowhere. Oh, uh, there's no fire, huh? Well, there is now. All right, there, beat that one. Hooray, my Pierce's record is 18 seconds. We're gonna have to be doing these a little bit quicker. <laughs> so that's fire, it's pretty simple. You just gotta grab some water and put it out. It's very simple. The first challenge is really simple, but there's like five pages with like seven challenges each on them. I'm not sure if I'll do them all, but this one's gonna actually take a moment. It's not that it's hard, it just takes it takes them a while to walk all the freaking way over here. So you just wanna call them over. And our challenge is to get them across without getting them caught in this flood. You can pick up most of the water. It just, um, I failed this one when I first did it. It's really not that hard, you just collect the water and, you know, drain it out. It's a very simple process, but um, the thing that's not simple about it is the guys will be spread out. Like, they're all spread out now. You don't need any help, you're good, keep going. They get kind of spread out and the water kind of fucks them. But the thing about it is they can get stuck in the water a little bit and then you can just let it get pulled. Like, they can get stuck a little bit in the water and then it'll be gone. Just You just kind of want to catch it early. Like here, if I can catch it early, and I caught it early, he didn't quite, he didn't quite drown. He kept on walking. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it with this one too. When I say catch it early, like you drain the first bit of it out and then you collect the rest of it. Uh, don't get sucked in it. All right, there. We're almost there. These fucking idiots will quit getting sucked in the water here. It'll be a little bit better situation. Cross. Oh, don't cross yet. You'll just get stuck in. Don't cross yet. I'm sure you see how it can get pretty pretty frustrating when they cross at like the wrong time. You're like, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to cross yet. Let's see, I got... I think I got two of them crossed. Oh, uh, two, three, four. Did I really only get four? I need one more. And they're all drowned. Do I have enough? One, two, three, four. Nice, I literally have four. I guess you could, you can, once they die, they like respawn and you can pretty much recall them over. And it's pretty lame when you like lose all of them but one. You need like one. So we're gonna have to wait for this guy to cross over and um, I don't know, maybe I'll use like fast forward mode and we won't have to worry about it. But it's like, it's only one guy. Like only one guy has to cross. So you pretty much have to just watch him. So I don't see no point of fast forward, I guess. Cause he'll probably just make it without him getting flooded. Like he got this shit pretty simple. If he's not a moron, what is he doing? Come on. Uh, idiot! This guy will quit being a moron. He'll make it across. Cross now. There's nothing coming. These guys are complete morons. It kind of drives me a little insane how stupid they are. Good. Keep running. Just keep running. Don't stop. There you go. Don't be so idiot. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So these are the challenges mostly. They just throw you in a scenario where you might not be able to survive it, but don't drown him out. I got you, I got you, I got you. You made it. Keep going. And they put you in these scenarios and you pretty much just solve them. They're like little puzzles instead of challenges. And I find them, they're fun. I'm not going to lie. I find them very amusing. And um, they're a challenge. <clears throat> like when you get in those harder ones, 
I mean, these are really basic and very simple. You just absorb some water in front of them that doesn't take them out. But um, they get a lot more challenging, like deeper on. But um, they're pretty basic. Like I said, once you figure out the main source of how to do them, they're all pretty basic. And now that I'm recording, I'm sure I'm going to do all these super, super slow. When I first did them all, they're really simple. But that's it. The level builds up here, and we have everybody, and we just got to wait for it to build up. Come on. It's built. <laughs> yeah, but on these last two From Dust videos, if my commentary has sound kind of low and not as energetic, it's pretty much because I kind of like forced myself to do these two videos. So in this challenge, I actually failed this one a few times. It's kind of annoying. I don't like this challenge really, but it's basic. You basically call your guy to come get this, and while he's coming to go get it, you're going to pretty much just need to get all the water out. Now the main thing about this one is he's not going to have enough time to get back to his village when he finally gets up here. So you're going to have to pretty much flood him down to the village. And this is dangerous because if you flood him down to the village, it's going to flood your village. So you're going to have to flood him and sort of pick up the water at the same time so it doesn't come and flood your village. And he also needs to hurry the fuck up. So you're like, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up, get the shit, you got it, okay, come on, well the flood's coming now. So like, is the moment he touches the top of this, you're going to want to just send him down. So he's up there, send his ass down. Without flooding anything, he got down there pretty quick. So the flood's coming, he got, he got down there, but he is, he's there now. So let's see if he actually gives enough time. I think it takes about five 10 seconds for them to actually go through with the thing, but I have it. It is done. And challenge complete. A completed challenge. We can now leave the area because I don't really care to see it getting flooded. But, uh, yeah. We, uh, did we beat our time? I think we did. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, that was a new record. That was no big a deal, though. That's how we do that mission. That mission's actually a pain in the ass. I fell it a couple times. So now we're going to do the big wave. I'm trying to shoot through these missions just to give you an idea of what they're like. You know, they're all kind of different, and you do them all kind of fast. So this one, the big wave. Save three villagers from the wave, pretty much. Okay, well, we're going to need them to come and get that. And as you see, they all can't really come and get it. So you need to kind of clear the way so they can all come and get this, the, the tool to save the day. It's all right. That one has enough room to get it. All right, so this one has a lot of a lot of sticky things. That's no good. They're not going to be able to make it through these. So instead of flooding it, just pick the crap up. It's one thing I know. I was like, I'll just flood it out and out. You see the thing about flooding it? You don't need to flood it. Just pick it up and like relay it. And it'll get all the stuff out of the way. And it'll give him like a perfect little area to walk perfectly over to it. All right. So I think that's it. It's pretty much done. They can make it through here. The water is not there, which they're going to. And they can make it through here because there's no spikes. Although they grew back a little bit, so I'm going to take some of that out. But um, you're mainly just going to want to watch out because it's coming from behind, as you see. So you're pretty much just got to watch your guy here and be like, come on, man. Make sure you don't get stuck in anything. Come on. <laughs> Like you would think you'd run a little bit quicker with the flood coming. Just maybe a little bit quicker, maybe. Start building like a flood blocker here. Like, no. I don't know if he's going to make that. He needs to come on. It's a very long journey. You're going to get swept out. Maybe that other place will give it a little more time. Yeah, that other place is going to stop the flood and just enough for him to get here. Dude, he needs to be on it. Get on it. All right, he's on it. Will he do it in time? Will he do it in time? Yeah, he got it. <laughs> but um, that's that level. You pretty much just have to clear that stuff out, and you have to clear it out quick. So we beat that one. And um, we got a new record on that one, but I've played these levels a few times, so not beating my new record's nothing big. So we got three more to do. Let's blow through these. I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to get through the first seven and show you page one, how the challenges work, because all you can do is story mode and challenges, so... You might as well enjoy it. All right, this one, uh, it's another one of those levels where you just need to collect some water and throw your guy down the mountain so you can make it back in time. These levels are quite simple. I found this level to be better if you wait for him to walk back over where he is now. See where he is right now? 
Don't like flood him as soon as he gets it. Wait for him to walk back over where he was because this little area down here, he'll flood down a lot better. Like if you flood him up here, he might get stuck. Like sometimes when you try to flood someone, they won't get flooded. They'll get kind of just stuck on it. And you're like, oh no, fail mission. So let's see, did it actually get him down there? Nice, that got him down there quick. So when he actually does get down here, you're going to want to pick up that water and get it the hell on out of here. Come on, I hate when he just stands there. Oh my god, I was like, I'm just going to stand there. It's like, no, go. So where's the flood? The flood's there. It's going to be cutting it. I don't know if he's going to make that one. He needs to come on. See, count down. Count down. He's touching it. All right, I don't know if he's going to make that. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, wow. That was really close. Like, if, if, if I would have wasted another second, he would have totally got murked. Previous record was 49. I did okay. I did it quicker before somehow. I don't know how I did it quicker before, but that was that one. That one's challenging because if you don't do it just right, and you'll get flooded at the last second. I'd be like, "Fuck you!" All right. So what? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This one. Um, there's a fire coming from like all angles, and you pretty much have to. Pretty much just have to flood the areas. What I found most in this one is just take a big ball and just shove it in the middle of the water so it actually just throws some down and just try to pick up the water in like a circle around the area. So when you throw it down, it pretty much just blocks the entire area of water. So that's what I'm really going for here. It's just get enough. You don't need like a super huge amount. Just get enough water totally built that up there. You just get enough water to kind of block it. Let's have a white a vessel right now. That's it. I don't, need, I don't even need to do this. But that's it. See, I got enough water just to kind of block the fire to where it's not touching. It's doing it in a circle. Because you can flood this. It has the it has the power. So that's it. Now it was that challenge. It was a, Like I said, they're all just challenges you can do within seconds. Like, boom. They're done. So um, right now I'm just waiting for the fire to come on. <laughs> you know? Oh no, I guess you could actually just put out the fire if you want. If you want to do it in like a certain time limit. But that's it. Challenge competed. Competed. And the last one, I can't even say that. X-U-E-N-Y-L-O-M. I'm not sure what that is. But I think this is the one where you just have to prevent a fire from happening and save three villages. It is. This one is very simple. There are three villages over here. Three. One, two, three. And you pretty much have to stop the fire from coming. This village is going to block the water from coming, so you're going to pretty much just want to destroy a village. So, uh, I guess pretty much destroying one village to save another isn't that bad. But did I fuck up there? I might have fucked up there. You don't want to kill the guys that are taking the, uh, the stuff over. <laughs> it's a fuck up. But, um, that right there should be it. It should just kill out the fire kill out the flame, you pretty much just take out that village and that's it. But I did kind of kill that last guy, so I don't know if he's going to actually be able to. Oh, he did, okay. So he was able to do that. So those were the challenge modes. I did a new record, hell yeah. I did all seven challenge modes. I messed up on a few of them, but um, that's all of them. There are five pages worth, so there's a lot more you guys can do right off the bat. There's just, there's a lot you can do in challenge mode, but I don't really like challenge mode as much like story mode. But that's it. That's From Dust. That's probably my last From Dust video unless you guys request something. You guys want to see something else? Let me know in the comments. If not, that's pretty much it from that. We're going to move on to a different game. But thank you guys for checking me out. Um, we are Duckfin Gaming. Please rate. Please subscribe. Hit that little thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and actually lasted this long. So that's Duckfins out. Thank you guys for listening.